Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this uh, video session we are going to discuss about the construction of isometric projection and the problem is like this. Draw the isometric projections of the combination of solids formed by a frustum of cone and coaxial frustum of pentagonal pyramid. The lower frustum of cone is 80 mm base and uh, 60 mm top diameter and height 25 mm. The upper first term of the pyramid is 30 mm of side of base and 20 mm is the top face and the height is 40 mm. So according to the given condition, so we have a first term of a cone and a first term of a pentagonal pyramid and pentagonal pyramid is uh, placed on the first term of a cone. So according to that, so one can see that this is what the required orthographic projections. Now let me show you how to consider the first term of cone and then uh, first term of pentagonal pyramid. Now, to construct the first term of a cone, we have to complete the construction of a circle in the form of an ellipse for which we have to construct the square of diameter, so a square size of 80 mm. Now, in detail, how to construct these ellipses, we already discussed about uh, the introduction to isometric projection. So, one can uh, go through that, or the links is provided there in the comment box. Now, 80 and the angle is 30, then 80, angle is 150. 80 angle is minus 150 and get back to the first portion or 80 minus 30. Then using a line command with the same thickness of 0 0.13, the constructional lines are going to be drawn to get the ellipses. Now this ellipse is going to be obtained by the technique called as 4R technique. So using the 4R technique, now let me draw the ellipse properly. So sometimes we will get the ellipse, uh, the arcs in the different direction. The only thing is we have to keep a try to get the points properly. Now uh, I have completed the construction of ellipse of a diameter 80 millimeter and the same ellipse is at the height of 25 millimeter for a diameter of 60 mm to be reconstructed for which what we are going to do is we are going to locate the center of an ellipse and then we are going to draw a 25 millimeter vertical line. Now this line is supposed to be a chain line with 0 0.13 mm as a thickness and then whatever the construction lines are there, now let me remove those construction lines and after which uh, make use of uh, the copy command and uh, move, move this ellipse from this height to this height but however at this height the size of the ellipse is supposed to be 60. So using the scale command you will uh, reduce it to 60 by 80 because 60 is the required. 80 is the constructed size of ellipse. So one can see that 60 by 80 ellipse has been constructed at a height of 25 millimeter. Now using a line command, uh, tangentially we are going to move the move here and it is going to be connected tangentially to this point. And now to avoid some confusions, let me zoom this area properly. Now tangentially it is moving and it is going to be point on element and tangent. And the same thing is going to be done here. It has to move tangential to this line and then tangential to this line also and point on element. Then using the trim command, the unwanted portions can be eliminated like this. Now one can see that the first term of cone is already constructed. Now we have to construct the first term of pentagonal pyramid over this. Now for which one can observe that when we see the uh, pentagonal sides. Uh, now the sides is given as 30 millimeter, but however four sides are not uh, parallel to the isometric axis. So we will enclose this in a uh, box to get a proper figure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this uh, pentagon in a box like this. So I'm going to enclose this pentagon in the form of a box so this is a very important technique what we are doing because uh, inclined lines cannot be drawn at the given inclination in case of isometric projections hence for these necessary constructions are most important now we know that the size of this rectangle is 48 as well as 46 and then uh, the distance between these two lines are also very important which is measuring as uh, okay uh, so now let me reposition it 
which is measuring as 28.53 and the distance between these two edges is also important measuring as 9.27 so now using these dimension one can construct the pentagonal fraction now let me show you how to do the same so now here the dimensions are slightly overlapping let me reposition it now using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 let me construct the rectangle of 46.17 at an angle of 30 and 48.54 at an angle of uh, 150 and again 46.17 at an angle of minus 150 and 40 8.54 at an angle of minus 30 or connect back to the first position and afterwards using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 one can construct the pentagon over here which is an approximate pentagon not the required pentagon accurately and afterwards we know that uh, the different dimensions which we already measured the distance from this point to this point is supposed to be 9.27 we will get that value and in the same fashion the distance between these two points is also 9.27 and in the same fashion the distance between these two points is to be 28.53 and also the distance between this point to this point is 28.53 now here uh, this is a slightly inclined dimension and we will change it to this end point parallelly so this is supposed to be 28.53 so now one can see that we have got the required uh, lines. Once we get the required pentagon, the construction lines which is no more required can be deleted. Now after which we got the pentagon, we have to locate the center of a pentagon by drawing two perpendicular bisectors. Now let me draw two perpendicular bisectors and after drawing the two perpendicular bisector, the intersection point is going to be the axis start point. Now we know that the height of this uh, uh, pentagonal pyramid the first term of pentagonal pyramid is uh, given as 40 millimeter so we will take that as 40 millimeter high and this is supposed to be in the form of a chain line because it is an axis and then these construction lines if it is required otherwise it can be eliminated then make use of a move command uh, move this pentagon which is at this height to a height of 40 millimeter and now the available size of the pentagon is uh, 30 millimeter it should be reduced to 20 millimeter so using a scaled command so enter 20 by 30 and then locate the center point properly over there that is at the top point and then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can connect all the respective slant edges properly now once we have done the connections then the invisible edges can be retained as a thin line support is required otherwise it can be eliminated and once the construction is finished now make use of a move command with respect to the copy of move the pentagonal frustum of pyramid with respect to the bottom base of the axis and it is supposed to be positioned on the top base of the axis of the frustum of cone like this now this is going to be a coaxial representation then using the trim command so one can eliminate the lines which is coming behind the frustum of pyramid now one can see that the isometric view or drawing of the given condition is completed to get it to the isometric projection select this figure using the scale command reduce the scale factor as 0 0.8164 now one can see that we have got the required isometric projections of the given combinations now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and also kindly like this video share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest video updates as and when it is going to be uploaded in the youtube once again thank you for watching my videos in the youtube class